Hi, this is Charlie Newshaver, New World Maps. And today I'm going to show you something you've never seen before. It's a prequel to Google Maps, MapQuest, and your iPhone where you punch in a, a call, command to Siri to give you specific directions. Now this will take us back 110 years. And along the way, I just want to show you what motorists used to use. Uh, they stuff them in their glove compartment. Uh, these were fold-out road maps. The first was published by Gulf Oil Company in 1914. They were given away at gas stations by the millions for 70 some odd years. Before that, motorists turned to something called a blue book or a uh, set of script maps with specific directions along particular routes. So instead of a fold-out map, they would have a book. And this example is from the uh, California from 1913. And there's another example here. This is a blue book from 1910. Once again, a series of written instructions, turn left at the watering trough, follow the trolley tracks, and that kind of thing. So uh, these, these preceded fold-out road maps. The watering trough because there were more horses than cars on the roads back then. But before that, Starting in around 1905, H. Sergeant Michaels created something called a photo auto guide. He then sold the rights to that to Rand McNally. So in the early aughts, 1909, 1910, in that period, Rand McNally published a series of photo auto guides. And these were books for very specific routes. In this particular case, it's a photo auto guide from Chicago, Rand McNally's home office town to Lake Geneva, Wisconsin. And inside are a series of black and white photographs with arrows on them so that you in your car, big old car back then, could follow along as you drove from Chicago to Lake Geneva. Each intersection is pictured with an arrow drawn on the photo, little directions down below. Lots of fun here to uh, look back at these old photos. The book also has a couple of uh, hand-drawn maps in it. These are scarce. You don't, need, you don't see these for sale anywhere. You have to go to a library usually if you want to see one. They also have signs about speed limits because you're driving a car and making shift in the gears and all the other things involved in, in 1909. Uh, Speed limits were somewhere between five to maybe eight miles an hour, and there'd be pictures of the speed limit signs in these books. This is another one. This is a photo order guide from Buffalo to Albany. And very conveniently, they have Albany to Buffalo in case you want to get back. Um, inside, once again, some ads for products of the time, photographs with arrows on them, and directions, fold out, some fold out maps. These, these are a lot of fun, and they, uh, for all the world, they're very much like what you'd see today on a GPS or on, on uh, Google Maps, except they're not digital, they're analog, and there's just one more reason why maps and old road guides are so much fun, and I hope you've enjoyed this little video. Thanks. Happy mapping.